people won't see your struggle they will only see your success a very good evening and heartily welcome to our respected guest and the student i diksha gaikwad welcome you all for today's session it's my pleasure to introduce our esteemed guest speaker for today's session mr shirish kulkarni sir in the early stage of his career so has worked with it companies like bmc softwares and tcs so is also a founder member of cbm and good luck business network currently sir is founder and ceo at stro strota consultant and strota consultant in sanskrit stands for origin of energy now i request sir to take the session for the all right uh... Uh, are you able to hear me? Uh, is it uh, better now? Are you able to hear me now? Yes, yes, sir. You are completely audible. And also, let me thank uh, uh, the management uh, and uh, no, I, I, EBM and the uh, Indus Business School uh, to begin with. And uh, it's really wonderful to see uh, young faces, and it is uh, always exciting to get back and uh, speak to uh, uh, young. Uh, I would say budding uh, uh, students like you and uh, really share thoughts. Uh, so today's topic uh, as such uh, will be where we will focus on more on uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, we'll touch this more uh, a little bit on, uh, uh, you know, what are the avenues that we see after pandemic, uh, but more about uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, I would have loved to be in person uh, with you, but uh, I believe uh, with this kind of a digital way, virtually we are connected. So I'm happy that uh, some of you, I would request everybody of you to open up uh, your cameras if possible, but uh, it always gives that uh, degree of connect and comfort, like conversing with you and communicating with you. Uh, so it will be really great. So let me share a couple of slides. Uh, and uh, the way that we will structure it is that we will go through uh, the slide. Uh, uh, deck. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask it in between. Also, ideally, I would like to make it as a conversation between uh, us rather than a monologue. Uh, but um, you know, uh, uh, or we can take the question answer at the end. Right. Uh, so, uh, any, let me see a uh, sign. How many of you like uh, uh, to be an entrepreneur? Like you start your own business, and I would like to you know uh, see that. Uh, so you're all management students, right? Uh, so how many of you want to really? Okay, so let's see some kinds. Good, uh, good. So let's see. Um, uh, let me try to make it more interesting because uh, many of you are excited about it and uh, show some uh, uh, real-time uh, experiences that I can share so that uh, it becomes more interesting. Okay. All right. So let me just quickly. Share a presentation. Is the presentation uh, visible on the screen? Are you able to see the presentation now? No, sir. Yes, sir. Feedback? Okay, wonderful. All right. So, uh, quickly about me, those uh, words have already been explained, but it is uh, where uh, spent around 25 years uh, of experience. Is, uh, uh, had been in corporate and uh, been uh, playing various roles, and uh, the, the call was always there in uh, inside where uh, we want to give back uh, what are knowledge skill that you've collected uh, back to Indian industry, uh, taking that global exposure of markets and clients. Uh, so last around seven years, I've been running this company with the name Stroth Consulting. Uh, and uh, having been exposed and analyzed around 150 such businesses, uh, uh, and actually looking at uh, focus on business growth. So entrepreneurship is uh, definitely very, very near and dear to me. And uh, you know, always uh, it is uh, said that uh, you know typically the entrepreneur can do anything and everything. Uh, I don't know how many of you have, uh, would agree, but uh, uh, this is what is uh, kind of a definition de facto definition that, you know, if you tell the entrepreneur to jump off the cliff uh, and uh, that that uh, you know, this individual will uh, jump off the cliff. Wow. Uh, so, you know, let, uh, let us get through further and find uh, what are the nuances of a uh, entrepreneur and, uh, you know, uh, how many uh, 
of them really think uh, that you know this is something that I'll start. Uh, this uh, will be a great idea, and uh, if it works, else uh, if it works, I'll get dollars, rupees, and uh, I'll be a millionaire and billionaire, and else I'll go back and uh, you know uh, start uh, with a new idea, and uh, this cycle keeps on happening. So uh, this is a typical uh, cycle that any creative idea to realization works like, and uh, uh, and and a very basic part of uh, any entrepreneur uh, to keep on trying new ideas, new avenues, and uh, uh, really not losing patience uh, till it uh, gets successful. Uh, that's that's the key to success, right? Uh, uh, am I audible and clear? Uh, uh, we have some power failure here. I'm just checking with you. Am I audible and uh, the presentation is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. So we'll continue. Uh, how many of you know about free laws? You know, everything uh, has to go right and uh, that's where things go wrong, uh, but you have to still keep going. The show must go on. All right, so uh, you know, let's ask ourselves uh, if at all we start business. Uh, what is that we are going to start it for? Is it for the money or is it for some near and dear concept uh, that we have in mind? Some business idea that we want, uh, some new concept that we want to implement. Something like uh, uh, you know, completely lateral uh, business model that you want to do, like. Uh, uh, the way that Ola Uber have uh, done uh, to really, you know, uh, cut that market down and uh, bring something which is absolutely new and, uh, you know, that never never had been thought of that, you know, you don't possess any cars, but you are running a car business across, which is a shared model. Or you want to build a large enterprise or you want to become most popular person in the world and, you know, become that brand that people will follow. Or you, so you know, many people uh, just uh, in India that you said, uh, you know, business start karna. So many of us start uh, business uh, just for the heck of it, you know, just uh, tick mark. Nah, I just want to start a business. So there is no idea, there is no thought about funding, there is no thought about, you know, how you will take uh, sets of products, services uh, to the realization. Or there is this kind of a hunch, uh, you know, that. Uh, in my life, I will not work with anybody. I mean, I, I just want to be off on my own. I don't want to listen to anybody. I will not obey anybody. I am you know, fallen from the heaven and I really don't want to work. Or I want to work on a completely new idea or, uh, you know, something like Ola or Airbnb, as I mentioned. So uh, these are various aspects that come to your mind when uh, you think that uh, you want to be an entrepreneur and uh, uh, any or many of this uh, possibilities might touch your mind. Now, uh, typically one more extremely critical dimension that comes into picture that uh, uh, there is a step completely separate path for uh, and characteristic of an entrepreneur. Uh, if you really want to take that turn and uh, not be a uh, one uh, to be an employee, but uh, create employment, uh, create jobs, uh, right? And, that mindset is extremely critical as we will go in more details uh, moving forward. And uh, as such, you know, uh, where, uh, and we keep on defining entrepreneur versus employee as a comparison where uh, it's a 24 by seven uh, job, it is commitment that uh, you have for life. It's like uh, a baby for us. Some people say that it's like a spouse or more close or uh, uh, somebody as a step uh, spouse for us. Uh, and uh, it requires a lot of commitment uh, to be an entrepreneur. I think uh, these are some mindsets uh, that eventually get uh, to realization as uh, you start rolling into an uh, entrepreneur to become a business owner to eventually the enterprise owner, right? Uh, so, uh, you know, how many of uh, us are born uh, entrepreneur? And, uh, you know, oh, as such, this is a very key question. And whenever we see that, you know, our, maybe you have 120 students in the class right now, and uh, only five of them uh, raise the hands or 10 of them raise the hands. So is it 5%, 7%, 10%? .7%? Is it something that we feel as I was discussing about various options, possibilities? Or is it something that uh, we have inborn? There are some entrepreneurs who are born uh, with, uh, you know, maybe that silver spoon uh, in the mouth. Uh, uh, and and they talk about something like okay let's plan a exit strategy right when uh, they still not cut the umbilical cord. Uh, so yeah, you know to be very honest, uh, 
there are less number of people, uh, individuals uh, who are born entrepreneur, and uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, percentage that you will see uh, they are made entrepreneurs. So, uh, if at all it is five percent uh, as uh, uh, individuals who are born as entrepreneurs, so have heritage, who have those uh, nitty gritties, those abilities uh, in inside them. Uh, definitely, uh, the schools like yours. Uh, where it is uh, focus is given on entrepreneurship. I'm not sure how many uh, courses that you have dedicated on that or if you are, we are going to talk about incubation idea uh, from uh, ideation to realization uh, to uh, really help you uh, to become an entrepreneur. So I think it, it takes a, a, a huge amount of uh, kind of investment of your mind skills to reach that stage. So uh, typically, you know, you start small uh, as an entrepreneur and you would like to definitely scale up. Uh, and uh, that's the kind of journey that any entrepreneur has uh, to start uh, something which is very, very small to make sure that it is a small pilot or a demo that is created. And uh, you make sure that you become part of some incubation center where the investment required is uh, actually taken care of for to a certain extent apart from the seed capital that you want to have. And there is an ecosystem that is provided for you to uh, really grow that idea from initial stages to a stage in which uh, you eventually want to roll it to the market. So there is a way that you can assess the market for that idea. And uh, also then eventually once market is uh, validated and like the business model is uh, validated as you see uh, in the B cordon, uh, we were looking at, you know, scaling up uh, where there is a high amount of ambitions and uh, a scalable business model that will help you to really reach to that uh, quadrant uh, to grow your business moving forward. So it's always good to start small and uh, look at smaller uh, successes uh, uh, in the path that you car uh, for you to scale up uh, as a business and it is matter of uh, not only proving your own abilities, but proving uh, the abilities of your business model, the business idea, the the way that you want to get to larger number of uh, customers and uh, you see uh, your growth in the top line also. So typically, if you see uh, any kind of institutional environment, uh, uh, we'll get dissected uh, into uh, as as something called as intrapreneurship. Uh, so it's basically about uh, where you will have uh, uh, protection in the enterprise itself, uh, helping you to create certain things where you have facilities available. And this uh, you know, conceptual uh, dimension of incubation center within an enterprise, right? Uh, so basically to have enterprises nurture this ability of entrepreneurship. Uh, so these models are definitely there. And you will see that you know Google's, uh, the large companies like Google's, uh, uh, have Apple have their extended innovation centers uh, to really help out and uh, bring those creativity to innovations to eventually production. And uh, as such, uh, uh, as we see that, you know, it reaches the market, uh, the flow of services and goods to economy and consumption uh, results into uh, that particular business becoming more and more viable, uh, being successful coming out of uh, the incubation environment of, of the institution. So this is uh, another model in which uh, uh, a lot of success is seen for businesses who get in, uh, incubated. And uh, uh, you know this element of entrepreneurship is uh, nurtured in this environment. Going forward, uh, you know, uh, typically you'll see that uh, any incubation center, and I'm intentionally uh, showing this uh, uh, path because it is very critical for uh, all the, you know, I would call all the management colleges as well as engineering colleges to have this. I've been promoting this uh, thought of uh, having incubation centers. So for those individuals who are really willing uh, to, uh, you know, start uh, their uh, journey as entrepreneur, uh, this is where, you know, we would uh, select, select our sets of ideas uh, where uh, uh, it's based on the viability of the idea and various criteria that you have for that's individual uh, uh, idea to be successful. Uh, you would see that uh, eventually the formality of uh, uh, 
getting into incubation to really build that business plan to do the market research to get uh, that viability assisted and uh, eventually as uh, we complete that cycle of uh, first challenge and a realization of uh, those markets uh, in the state of incubation uh, you are actually likely to be ready uh, to be you know uh, launching yourself uh, as a basic business uh, uh, as an entrepreneur into the real world so uh, key uh, message is definitely where uh, uh, it's important to have incubation centers and it's uh, a pretty established model that you have uh, for incubation centers and uh, we need to make sure that uh, you know all of uh, those individuals who raise hand uh, and have some ideas about uh, any new business uh, should come forward and uh, you know uh, we can have them go through this cycle of uh, evaluation of those ideas creating business plans uh, trying out those things becoming a pilot getting some investors required uh, building that ecosystem of uh, taking the business from where it is to you know uh, to the large scale from startup to scale up uh, in this incubation environment so uh, typically uh, if you see uh, uh, this is a, a kind of a matrix i wanted to show uh, about uh, you know how many are uh, uh, company in, if at all we look at uh, a metric for the incubation set i would not go in much of a detail but uh, this is how it looks you know uh, where uh, we are looking at uh, large amount of revenue to be made uh, ideas making it uh, to be successful and uh, also funding getting available as a next stage which is very very important uh, so if you see that you know there are 89 qbs uh, here uh, and uh, uh, there is 293 crores of uh, cumulative revenue that they generate so we are talking a pretty big kind of a metric for iit madras incubation center and uh, there is one more uh, dimension where uh, you know focus area for your research your uh, area of work, your business uh, uh, could be uh, uh, actually highlighted and you can see that you know te technology is one dimension uh, for us to get charged up which is uh, definitely something which uh, is a direction for future and uh, as uh, we see uh, more and more of uh, startups in uh, getting incubated uh, uh, across uh, eventually those uh, becoming uh, into reality and now if you see internet of things uh, industrial internet of things uh, definitely has uh, got to the next level of uh, case uh, use cases that uh, you will see healthcare has got a pretty upward uh, swing uh, you see manufacturing automation and uh, robotics uh, getting a lot of focus and instances here uh, another focus area that you will see is uh, the second one which is uh, machine learning ai ar vr so these are the topics i wanted to quickly uh, tell you that which are proven in say uh, 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 institute like id madras and those would be potential focus areas for uh, any kind of uh, incubation centers uh, uh, for any entrepreneur to look at uh, new ideas new avenues new direction of uh, success uh, and eventually since this is something which is available uh, as uh, aspect of uh, also investors to look at building confidence. This is where even uh, in future uh, you would have market ready for it. You would have investors ready for it. So it's a kind of a win-win game uh, one can look at. Uh, so metrics such uh, like this are very important to look at uh, whenever we are trying to open up any focus on some specific uh, industrial vertical uh, moving forward. Taking it further, uh, you know, uh, as such, uh, this is a kind of a triangle that you see for uh, any startup. And I talked about a facility, which is uh, uh, maybe the initial part where you start in incubation center, but you need to have uh, your own facility for running your business, right? Uh, uh, so that becomes something which uh, uh, eventually looks at uh, aspects of uh, expenses or the cost that you are incurring. Uh, to really build that uh, initial entity to the larger entity and then you have infrastructure, you have employees, you have a product in pipeline, you have a, a raw material that is going in. Uh, and then uh, you look at the investors also. Now there is uh, definitely a time uh, that we have to look uh, whether or not we have to get to the investors. Uh, and uh, what is that we are looking at from the investors uh, if we are uh, the ones who are creating 
Uh, do you really see that uh, we want to give our thought process, uh, our uh, creation to in the hands of anybody, somebody who is just having money? Uh, because of that, we are giving uh, kind of selling our ideas to them and they become maybe 30, 40 percent uh, owner of uh, our enterprise, uh, our uh, future enterprise. I would say uh, we have to be very prudent while we are bringing in uh, investors and uh, you should not get blind by this idea of, you know, uh, investors is the one uh, that we need to look into for any business to be run. Uh, ideally, if you look at, uh, if I have analyzed around 190 such businesses, uh, I would say my motto is definitely to look at uh, any business to be, number one, being self-sustaining for all all the, the dimensions of uh, expenses that it has, uh, maybe fixed or recurring. And additionally, uh, if at all any kind of uh, avenue have to be looked at for a future expansion or new idea uh, has to be coming out of uh, uh, the kitty, the savings that you have uh, in your business to really uh, reinvest that profits that you generate. So firstly, you run a business to uh, get profits and then those profits are uh, use as savings for uh, future investment. So it is it's a kind of a cycle that we need to see uh, to be actually keeping on successing more and more. Uh, so, you know, uh, definitely it is important to look at. Uh, uh, now I wanted to basically lighten up uh, pretty serious things I've been talked. So we have to li literally make sure that we look at uh, who is next to me, who is uh, if we look at that IIT Mathura's chart, you know, uh, what are the other players in the market? What are they doing? Why they are doing uh, something cost effective? Have I tried that business model? Uh, what is the entry barrier for them? Why should I do what I'm doing? Uh, if I actually, if they are focusing on a certain geography, should I focus on that geography? Is there, you know, something that I will get killed by the competition uh, right uh, at the entry level? Uh, do I have the muscle which I can sustain financially uh, to take them by heads on? So these are the actually key questions that we need to ask uh, ourselves. Uh, and uh, knowing your competition is uh, extremely critical and at times uh, not entering to some certain territory where you know that they are the strongest uh, uh, is a wise decision to make uh, in forward. Now, uh, typically you will see that, you know, uh, uh, whenever uh, investors enter uh, they could uh, start with uh, seed money that you will see on the x-axis you are seeing that you know it's a, a time axis while uh, on uh, y-axis you will see uh, revenue and as uh, initially you will see that uh, co-founders bring money and that's called a seed money seed capital and uh, you could have angels uh, also angel investors giving you seed money so as you get to the break even uh, uh, round about you know uh, midway uh, and uh, you'll see that uh, further VCs uh, or merger acquisitions start and uh, you could see uh, you know first second third round of uh, investments coming and uh, you have this new funda of uh, crowdfunding or crowd lending coming to picture where a certain portion of your equity could be diluted by getting funds uh, from outside and uh, uh, typically, you will see that once you have established your uh, enterprise in the market, uh, you have the brand value. It has become large uh, to the size where you think that uh, you know you want to uh, more than the stakeholders that you have uh, yourself or your business uh, in the form of uh, the current owners. Uh, you can think about uh, making it uh, an IPO, public offering, to get investments uh, from the shareholders uh, from public uh, size also and uh, then that becomes a larger picture of an enterprise uh, uh, to uh, where the investments uh, are uh, getting controlled by the share market at places uh, and uh, the organization start being liable and answerable for the uh, forces uh, in the market uh, as well uh, so uh, taking forward, you know, something that I wanted to share with you, uh, a major trend. Uh, we have seen that AI, ML, smart manufacturing, IIoT, industrial uh, Internet of Things is a key to success uh, as a, a focus area. And uh, this is where, you know, uh, you would see that uh, 
a complete stack of a physical entity to something that you connect. Now, this industry 4.0 is something that uh, you will see uh, in existence uh, where uh, going for any kind of an industry, you see that there are machines, there are a lot of devices, uh, there are uh, machine, uh, you would see vehicles, you will see conveyor belts, you will see cutting machines, all are connected together and sharing intelligence with each other and making their own decisions based on that. And that's exactly what is the power of technology. And I'm citing this intentionally because you'll see a lot of startups, a lot of new ideas, a lot of powerful use cases coming into industry 4.0 or IIoT as it is. The stack is definitely pretty spread out and you'll see that business intelligence, artificial intelligence, um, machine learning are actually becoming extremely critical as use cases. Now, uh, on the right side, right hand side, these are the focus areas that I would believe. I just took the last slides uh, from what we uh, looked at uh, in IIT Madras, uh, where a lot of focus will be done for the these areas like big data. You you take the data which is completely diverse. Uh, let it be something coming from a bearing vibration or machine. Uh, uh, producing some kind of a dimension uh, uh, value, or you will see, you know, uh, a, a deep dive uh, uh, in the sea. Uh, whatever drilling machine that uh, you are going to use, a uh, deep drilling machine, it it's bit giving the temperature and vibration data, and that has to be analyzed for finding, you know, uh, what is the life that is remaining. Blockchain is becoming extremely uh, popular, and you will see that, you know, in the form of uh, uh, the cryptocurrency. It's uh, definitely something that uh, is getting realized. I saw a uh, mention of it in the recent budget also, and uh, it is uh, definitely impacting the financial uh, uh, dimensions uh, heavily. Uh, and as such, it is not only going to change it as a technology, not only about you know having this kind of a secured access uh, across the chain uh, for the trusted uh, nodes that you have, but uh, it is a matter of uh, how the whole business works or how two businesses interact or how two entities interact on the internet. And if this kind of a trust uh, relationship uh, is bec becoming available, uh, the element of uh, all of this uh, intermediaries uh, is going to be actually not required. And uh, that is uh, going to be redundant. And that, that is going to impact uh, a large size of uh, individuals who are working as in those roles. Uh, and, uh, you know, so it will it'll, uh, disrupt the complete market uh, going forward. So, uh, so uh, you know, it is matter now uh, for uh, this. Intentionally, I wanted to get some laughter here uh, and uh, so that we lighten up. Uh, so uh, I would like to ask you guys, uh, whoever wants want to be an entrepreneur, you know, check who am I? Look inside yourself. And if you've seen this movie called you know, Kung Fu Panda, I'm sure that you would have loved it. And at uh, if even if you are seeing me with gray hairs, I love it a number of times that I've seen it, and I would like to see it again and again and again and again. And uh, you see this. Uh, small clip in which uh, what is the realization that this person has that is basically nothing this uh, that scroll has nothing that it has been said and it is matter of me as a individual who is supposed to be doing the things that is supposed to do right uh, so for entrepreneur uh, it is basically finding out whether i'm an inventor am i a scientist i'm a creator or an artist? Uh, am I an innovator? Am I really an entrepreneur? Am I a businessman? Or uh, am I an enterprise owner? And this will come with the different tenets of attributes uh, for us to know that, you know, where we, which category that we belong to. And definitely these categories are different. Uh, something which is inventor who is uh, do, do going to do it in a seclusion type, and maybe that focus is more on generating patents. Uh, while the creator is the one who will put that art uh, uh, as a new creation 
to uh, social media or to the market. Innovator is going to just come up with many ideas and might not really like to convert them into, might convert into a pilot, might uh, like to see that in reality, but may not like to you know convert that into a regular kind of product getting to the market, which the entrepreneur next stage wants to have. Uh, and you know, get to the size where it will be multiplied across the locations. Uh, the markets are larger. Then you bring bring that uh, into something which is uh, could be called a business. Now, in case of business where the business processes are defined, where your product defined, markets defined, uh, then that becomes something which is individually uh, could be called as uh, business uh, as such, where uh, you have set boundaries defined between the functions of operation. While uh, something as large as say Reliance or Tata would be an enterprise. Uh, and uh, so I would like uh, you yourself to think inside yourself for like uh, which segment of uh, area that I would like to see myself uh, on this scroll. If at all, I have to look into myself and uh, am I an innovator? So I would restrict myself to be an innovator. If I am an entrepreneur, I would uh, definitely like to focus to be an entrepreneur. So. Uh, this is extremely critical because uh, otherwise that becomes something as a drag for us to being an, a creator who would like to just create certain things uh, to be to be getting forced by these realities in the world to become uh, an entrepreneur and to try to size that into a business which might not really work for that individual and for the market, right? So uh, we have to be uh, really be you know, aware of this uh, dimension of where we stand as individual. Now, this is the map of uh, idea to realization. Some portion of it is a uh, key to success, uh, as we have seen it in uh, incubation. Also, where we start with the seed ideas and anybody who has uh, this path that you want to take. And I, I saw the number of hands uh, getting raised who are interested in starting a new entrepreneurship right and uh, exploring entrepreneurship so seed ideas various ideas which actually you pass through now this is a formal process that uh, we have set up and this is something that i work with incubation centers and uh, individuals who would like to actually become successful uh, as a de facto process uh, you build uh, you know out of brainstorming a lot of ideas and you build a common evaluation criteria to really size them what are the best ones that uh, need to be focused on. It could be a kind of uh, way that we can evaluate ideas uh, by by running this as a competition, by the, running this as a brainstorming session, by running this uh, as something that uh, we want to create uh, a pool of ideas uh, and, and eventually turn it into something that is a priority list that uh, we can take into a value proposition for specific business uh, to start as a small startup and then eventually scale up. So I think this is a extremely critical kind of a thought process for any idea to become to the stage of a realization. And, uh, you know, we start initially and eventually roll it. And again, a funny uh, kind of slide for you. So uh, typically it is said that entrepreneur can do anything. So uh, some somebody like Ajay Devgan standing on two bikes, uh, we've seen him standing on uh, two horses. Uh, so it could be that where uh, uh, you could be looked at as a hero, but be careful that you know uh, that your idea is uh, indeed something uh, realizable, and hence uh, you have to be grounded to uh, make sure that it goes through the complete pipeline of evaluation ideas to the business plan to make it uh, to the reality. Taking it forwards, you know, it's extremely critical uh, to uh, build a business plan. And I'm, I'm bringing this out uh, in more details for everybody. Uh, not only people who would like to get to become an entrepreneur, uh, but uh, how to build a business plan. It's a quick kind of a uh, capture here where uh, we have to have uh, understanding of the current context of the market and uh, how we will reach out to the customers and what are the channels there and uh, then uh, what is the positioning i'll be using in the market whether it will be niche it will be uh, kind of me too kind of a positioning or it will be differentiated or the 
entry barriers that I'm setting for other businesses to uh, not being able to acquire the territory that I'm looking at. What are the areas of you know revenue model and uh, what is the investment required? It's a very key, key element uh, to uh, look at uh, where I will uh, define uh, based on the market research that I have done. What is the kind of uh, revenue for various uh, services or solutions that I'm looking at uh, or the products that I'm looking at? And what is the kind of uh, way that I would like to fund uh, the infrastructure required, uh, devices required, if I require some IT uh, complete network, uh, how do I set that up, right? A uh, key element is definitely team and advisors uh, to make sure that we have the right competency at the management level, uh, not only management level, uh, people who are going to be team members and eventually the people who are visionaries uh, to set strategy and uh, focus uh, would be the advisors. So, and hence, uh, you know, uh, eventually rolling it down to product development process, uh, services development process and proving that product and uh, it is the uh, initial product uh, for proving uh, that we need to take to the market uh, protecting ourselves with the legal and intellectual uh, property rights to make sure that nobody copies nobody takes over nobody actually displaces us uh, from the market and snatches that idea and and the concept that we have ourselves uh, and uh, eventually focusing on the sales and traction to really make sure that we move ourselves uh, into the realization. So, uh, you know, what are the uh, key elements? Uh, you know, there is definitely a magic that is happening, right? Uh, for you to uh, get this business uh, and convert it into reality. So let's look at uh, some elements uh, which uh, actually are magical ingredients. And I don't know how many of you see this uh, or like this uh, cartoon called as uh, Asterix and Obelix, right? Uh, and there is a druid uh, who has uh, always this magical ingredients uh, in what they are sipping, and uh, and that's that's the key to success, right? I mean that makes you uh, extremely powerful uh, moving forward. So um, have a amazing, brilliant, and reliable and useful idea. Now I I mean uh, mean it when it is useful. Uh, make sure that it is a use case that. Uh, actually touches hearts of uh, sets of uh, individuals, people, something which will matter for them, something which is going to be used by them, something which is uh, uh, going to be, you know, or changing their uh, life, uh, the way that they interact with the world. It could be something as we can see, you know, the way uh, the whole interaction uh, with the phone as an entity got changed with this uh, uh, smartphones where you have swipe and, you know, or, uh, finger access to uh, the phones uh, getting realizable. You see that, you know, we don't uh, tend to use uh, camera and camera became uh, almost redundant with the films. And uh, you'll see that uh, even a small handheld device becomes uh, extremely powerful, more powerful than many uh, computers uh, with a lot of uh, uh, RAM to operate with and a lot of compute power also built in. So key success factor for that is to start with uh, brilliant idea and check for uh, the market potential because that's the key to success that's the market that you have uh, absolutely plan for realization in the form of for the way that you will put it on the business plan mm -hmm. make sure that you um, have money not only to support it in the initial phase for the incubation but also till the time that you realize it uh, in the form of uh, return on investment so uh, there is no need to for you to go uh, to any investor. So if you've projected uh, a couple of lakhs uh, of rupees and you have them with you, so you can provision them and uh, you know use them uh, sparingly uh, in case uh, that you know you uh, want to make sure that you have that continuity and you don't get kind of suffocated during the path as you move forward. So make sure that you got good team and divide the work for based on the competencies. Uh, you know, some people uh, uh, from you would be uh, good in the way uh, of doing some technical work. Some people are good in administrative work. Some people are good in talking, uh, marketing. So use those individuals uh, with those roles uh, uh, 
as as you build your project team, as you build your uh, business team uh, to take it forward from there. And um, you know, typical failure point for a entrepreneur is that I will do everything myself. And you see any kind of a large business also. I've seen more than 150 businesses where typically we will see that this individual has <clears throat> worked hard for 30 years and he has been slogging. He has been there for making all the decisions and he has grown the business to a certain level, but uh, he is now indispensable. He is doing all the work by himself. He has to sign small uh, little vouchers and uh, uh, he has to sign the, uh, you know, wait for bigger investments also. So let's uh, divide the work and uh, make sure that uh, you have helping hands and, uh, you know, uh, individual to share your load. Uh, and, you know, make sure that you set that as a process uh, end to end uh, from raw material to delivery to, you know, uh, completion of sales to feedback from the customer and uh, the customer setting orders again and again as a sticky thing that you want. Want to build for your business. All aligned for jobs are good. Are you able to see me? Uh, okay, the sharing stopped, right? Are you able to uh, see the sharing also? You are with me? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. I thought I, I was talking too much uh, for too long time, and uh, there was some call also which came and uh, so are you with me uh, or uh, you're too bold or uh, you're good? Yes, sir. Or it's too it. heavy. Yes, sir. It's too, too heavy. Is it too heavy for you? Sorry, sir. Okay. Is it too heavy for you? Is it too complicated? Is it too going? No, sir. It's not. No, sir. It's not like that. No, sir. It's not like that. Sir, actually, your voice is lagging a little bit. How I was that? Okay, I'll uh, take care of that. Okay, so I was talking about this uh, success factors. Am I am I better now in uh, the voice? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no, it's fine. Cool, cool. So you know, you see that's uh, you know the the, uh, uh, the way that uh, success becomes a process and uh, this uh, small uh, toy that we create, you know, in uh, our childhood keeps running when there is a wind, right? Uh, so keep uh, providing that kind of a wind for your idea and keep it rotating forever as a process. Uh, so uh, another very, very key element as uh, you know, uh, as the bottom of uh, the pyramid is persistence and patience. Uh, uh, you know, wrong things keep on happening uh, and uh, you will see that 90% things will go wrong and only 10% will uh, go as per uh, your will. And you would have seen uh, the way that, uh, you know, you study hard uh, for a subject and certain marks uh, are allotted and certain uh, orals have gone good, but, uh, you know, uh, the professors thinks it otherwise. So with due respect to, uh, you know, the whole uh, education system, this persistence and patience is extremely critical element that we need to take from what you've been doing into that entrepreneurship. Uh, to build that continuity and never give up. You know, that's the key to success. So uh, build that up. Passion is uh, definitely a key element uh, which actually makes uh, you qualified as, uh, in, as an entrepreneur to start any process uh, as a new idea. And hence the passion becomes uh, definitely important uh, element and uh, aspect of self-belief so these are elements that i would like you if you can take a picture of this uh, slide it's a key slide uh, where uh, this important element now seven eight nine are definitely looked at uh, uh, a capability of the individual right uh, to really be having that persistence that passion that self-belief uh, and uh, you know being result oriented and always trying to be successful while the six factors that you would see on the right hand side are more to do with how you will execute from idea to the realization. Okay, so uh, and that's the secret uh, 
and I was talking about asterisk and noble X, and this is a druid making this uh, magic portion for you. And uh, so you take the snapshot of this and make sure that you have it always with you and uh, remember this uh, as something that you want to take. So, you know, life uh, will definitely be difficult and you will keep on falling. Uh, you want to rise again, you to, and it's a fun where if you have some uh, uh, companion, some partner, some person who is going to share uh, things with you, uh, it's it's really important uh, that you keep on uh, not giving giving up and uh, keep on working on the things where uh, the focus is important, right? Uh, as the last slide slide. Uh, so, uh, you know, success becomes uh, definitely a tip of iceberg where all the element that you see as uh, element of uh, success, which are below the water are key elements of the individual's capability. You take it dedication, hard work, ha, you know, good habits, uh, sacrifice, uh, you know, handling failures or being persistent are something which are internal, which are actually supporting you for the element of small tenet of success that you will get. But, you know, there is a huge amount of uh, elements that you have within yourself that will help you to become more and more successful. And then this is a, 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 a quick one that I would like to show you uh, as, uh, you know, to little bit make it lighter for you. So let's look at you know extreme of uh, how technology can be used as uh, uh, a way that I am designing a phone for that matter. Okay, so this is about uh, a real life uh, story about a phone getting developed. So now I'll just start it. So there is a, there is a, you know uh, you are seeing that uh, you know uh, uh, okay. Uh, some problem. We missed some portion of it. I'll go to that story again, right? So I want to do check whether you are able to hear it. Uh, were you able to hear the uh, the sound coming out of this uh, slide? Were you guys able to hear the sound? No, sir. Okay, so I'll explain what it is then, you know. Uh, so there is a ring, ring ringing and uh, people are not able to understand who, who, whose phone is ringing. Oh my goodness. So somebody is taking out a small phone. Yeah. And if you can see that very closely, it's a small phone and it's got some interesting stuff also there. Now another phone rings, right? Uh, and uh, Another small gadget is getting taken off. And if you see that there is. This is a makeup kit that she is using as a phone. There, right? So everybody is wondering, oh my goodness, innovation, wonderful. That's a good product. Everybody says now the phone rings again. All right, so everybody looking at here and there. Oh my goodness, that's uh, the new type of phone. It's amazing. There's a shoe as well. Wow. Everybody says, wow, the new innovation. There's oh, how did you manage that? The, that, the shoe was the phone. And uh, everybody appreciates and this phone rings again. And everybody looking at each other, wow, that's a racket which is converting. Takes out my phone and say, Moshi Moshi, right? And uh, get the attention that she says, Oh, it's a multitasking. You can use it for playing also. Another phone rings. And then, you know, nobody knows where it is coming from. People are wondering, Where is the phone buzzing? And everybody starts looking at this guy. I see it takes out the big. You know, he has got uh, a phone. Going <laughs> forward. Please don't call me this time. <laughs> I cannot take it back. 
everybody would appreciate so things are getting more advanced more you know complicated uh, and some phone is ringing now you can see that uh, this guy is a big bag now that is his and he's, he's basically uh, that is the size of phone that eventually he has and closes it and so the point here is uh, that uh, technology uh, can help you, but uh, we have to be careful how we use technology and uh, make it something which is uh, uh, applicable for us and not do too much of it that, you know, we go back to ages where we are using larger size phones and uh, eventually uh, we are not getting that kind of leverage by technology. So uh, here I would uh, like to you know share a story and uh, something that uh, you can uh, remember uh, is is how you have to actually contribute to your entrepreneurship and uh, uh, to start very small. So there is this starfish uh, on the seaside uh, seashore, and there is a small girl playing with it uh, that you have. And uh, you know there is a, a old man standing a little bit away, looking at uh, this uh, girl, and she is doing something with uh, the starfish. So. He gets curious, goes uh, near to them, uh, near to her, and asks, uh, uh, "You know, what are you doing uh, there? What are you doing?" So she says, "No, I'm just, uh, you know, making sure that you know uh, this uh, starfishes do not uh, die." So he asks, oh, uh, "You know, what is that you're doing? You know, uh, so many starfishes come on to shore, and they are uh, dying without the water being around." So she says, "I'm throwing them into the water one by one." Uh, so, but he says there are so many thousands and millions of them on this uh, uh, seashore. How are you uh, going to make all of them to be, you know, uh, help getting help by you? So she says with a small. Uh, she pauses a little bit, looks at the, the old man, and smiles uh, sweetly and says, uh, "You know what?" And she throws one starfish back into the sea and says, uh, "See, I have saved this one." So you have to start, you know, messages uh, definitely that you have to start with a small bit of drop that you can uh, do. And every of your contributions will eventually result into your uh, largest success. Uh, so uh, I would uh, like to conclude uh, my uh, talk uh, with a very critical message that, you know, if we don't dream to bring our own world, uh, otherwise someone else will hire, will hire us. To build theirs. So dream big, make sure that uh, you are on top of the world and uh, make sure that it is real realized. Otherwise, uh, you might end up in becoming employee of somebody else for their dreams. So with this, I'll uh, like to stop. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll uh, definitely like to take them. Um, and also like to uh, see if uh, if we have any questions, uh, I would definitely like to take them. So firstly, I would like to hear whether you if it's too heavy or it was some, like some lecture that you have in normal course or was it any value adding? What did you like? What did you not like? Anything that you want to share your ideas, please. So it was much of value add addition for the people who are looking for startups. Okay. We realize when to start and how, like what will be the thing that will keep us apart from the business. So that is already going on. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you have an incubation center with you uh, in your college? No, not currently. Okay. Uh, so so yeah. I have a query for you. Please. Like I have, uh, I just wanted to know your opinion or vision. Uh, you might have seen a lot of businesses in every industries, and there are thousands of startups taking place every day. So, uh, what do you find the differentiator, uh, like the factor in FMCG that you find is the R of the need? Something can be done for FMCG sector. I want to know your point of view for FMCG. Right. Uh, if you see, uh, and typically I would talk about, uh, you know, what is a use case. Uh, Typically, use case is how a certain thing gets executed as 
one end to the other end, right? Uh, and uh, so the key to success is uh, for any business uh, is to get a very powerful use case. OK, and uh, let me give one example uh, of a FMCG company where you have outlets in stores where you are storing things uh, after retail, you know, where uh, and the consumers are looking in and they want to buy. And there is a process of uh, really acquiring or buying certain things, getting interested. The process is getting interested, uh, finding the need or by impulse. And you basically do the transaction of uh, closing it, right? I mean, then you put it in a bag and it becomes your yours and then eventually you pay. So the whole use case can become extremely powerful uh, you, with the use of uh, technologies like Google Glass, like your eyeball movement will be captured. How much of time that the eyeball is touching, uh, what level and how much of interest and intent that the person is looking. So if you get that data collected, and you know that you know what is the percentage weighing of this product against that product and why and how much of that gets converted into somebody putting it in your basket as it goes in the basket as it gets picked now there are technologies in which you can run the uh, auto swiping of your card and then the payment is done touchless uh, so these are the powerful use cases that uh, you know uh, are are actually existing and if at all you make it more and more powerful and insightful, this is the need of law. Okay. Okay, so this is one example uh, in FMCG I can quickly cite. And uh, um, you know, as the whole, uh, if you can see the supply chain is the key element in FMCG, where uh, apart from what uh, are the customers uh, intend to buy, where marketing camp and eventually merchandising comes into picture. Um, it is essential uh, as the individual packets of goods that you move in supply chain are visible. And that's another uh, very powerful uh, use case uh, from that point of view. If you are able to get that visibility across uh, the containers, the kind of shipping that you have, the movement that you have as it signs, and if it becomes automated, uh, you can imagine uh, the kind of uh, risk element that will get eliminated across right so those are some pretty high level examples so i hope that uh, those are suitable for explanation right now yes sir thank you so much for sharing your ideas with me anybody else uh, has any perspective comments questions okay let me uh, ask uh, this yes, uh, uh, i would like to yeah I would like to hear some brilliant ideas from you guys uh, for starting your enterprise. Uh, somebody was asking a question. Let's respect that uh, and then we, we will go. We'll go to your ideas. Somebody has had a sir, question. Uh, yes, sir. I had yeah. a question. Uh, good evening, sir. I am Rashi Mudhorkar. So um, but I just I didn't have a question actually, but, uh, but it's just something that I think about quite often uh, that I had been advised by uh, someone close to me that uh, if you are going to become an entrepreneur, then you have to reflect on something that you have always loved already in life. So that could be, that could be movies, it could be food, it could be cars. And if there is interest and passion in that, then you can become a good entrepreneur in that field. So uh, yeah, I, I would love to know your thoughts as well on that. Uh, is it always that something you're passionate about, you excel in that anyway, or maybe you will discover some new interest in life? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, if you've seen uh, the, the chart that we had uh, about uh, passion, it was definitely, uh, uh, one element uh, that was highlighted very seriously, right? Uh, <clears throat> now let me put it back and um, OK, short answer to your question is that passion is the must to have. Uh, whatever you do, uh, let it be anything into telecom, let it be in anything into FMCG, let it be any research related with some antenna or satellite or NASA or cars or anything. 
you have to have that passion. And now passion doesn't come by anybody telling and typically doesn't come when parents tell you that, okay, this is your passion, right? And I think everybody will agree. Uh, and or somebody who is a senior telling you, no, no, do this, then it will happen. We always go back again. I count myself as a student only uh, that we tend to go as a bad. So that could karenge is an element to success. Go to the end of it where uh, you actually see that it is something uh, could be shaped up. Take some good guidance uh, for somebody who will actually keep you into safe hands. Incubation center is one of the such examples where you are into, you know, you are with a reduced risk environment. People are there to help you. Mentors are there to guide you. Telling you upfront that some 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 places uh, we can play that uh, a kind of a role that okay, ye karke dekhte hai. to the extent that you know you don't risk your money, you don't risk your career, you don't risk your uh, large amount of uh, time for that. Karke dekho na. So that kind of approach could be taken. Uh, but passion is the key. Uh, the reason I'm, I'll tell you, uh, this was a light mode answer. The serious mode answer is that, you know, uh, anything that you are staking in a life, like complete life committed, maybe three years committed for a business. Uh, can you imagine, you know, not getting the salary, uh, not getting money back? So my, my message uh, to everybody and anybody who wants to start, and it is a little bit harsh. If you can be making yourself capable by virtue of, either uh, you know your parents or your own savings whatever is the way for three years not to get any salary because typically any entrepreneur is supposed to be called as successful only after three years so around thousand days of successful life of a business calls that person to be successful right in where you know uh, then did this typically where you are getting into uh, known markets your model is set your business model is set you are starting selling you got that revenue stream, your money is coming, you have market recognition. So three years. So harsh answer to that, unless you have passion for what you're doing. You know, we don't do what our, uh, uh, sorry to say this, uh, maybe in this forum with uh, students like you and me also along, but uh, we don't do that study also that uh, consistently, right? So we know that this is a Philip Kotler and I have to do completely, I have to read it end to end. We don't do it. So unless you have passion for what you take up, pick up, it doesn't work. So that's that's the quick answer. I hope that uh, that is. I'm seeing a smile on your face. So good. So thank you. Good. So Nidhi, you had some uh, business idea you wanted to share. Oh yes, sir. I just uh, found like this like. When I, I was working as an intern with Oyo, sir, so I could understand that what did, what was the idea of Ritesh Agarwal? It was just connecting the hotels with the owners. So, sir, like when we are going to restaurants, I just wonder, sometimes it's a, if it's a Taj hotel, we can easily wait. But in the nearby restaurants, we don't easily just go and get a seat available over there. Either we have to wait or they don't have the food which we want. So I was just trying for a structure like Oyo where we can connect people with the uh, restaurants where they can easily book whatever they want to eat. They can book their seats. They can know the availability of the food. If it's there, something like this, I was wondering, is it? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I can. I don't want to kind of uh, jump to say this uh, as uh, something completely okay. existing. It's a novel uh, thought, definitely. But if you see, uh, if you have used Zomato for that matter, yeah. Right. You have a way that you can source so many things from so many places, right? In a single uh, access okay. to that, you can book yeah. a seat also. So okay. that we don't have a access to availability of, you know, what seat I'm booking in what yeah. uh, restaurant. But at least yeah. you have that. So partially what you're saying as a use case is existing, mm -hmm. but uh, you can make it more interesting uh, yeah. uh, by by knowing this individual's, uh, uh, you know, uh, past uh, eating habits and recommending, uh, you know, these are the hotels and typically it is available in three to four. And, you know, uh, so uh, kind of a, uh, interaction, automatic um, audio interaction with him where uh, it gets automatically interacted with uh, making a call without he or she uh, talking um, and, yeah. uh, and uh, 
eventually booking happening. So you can make it to a little bit of advanced stage. Uh, but yes, basic uh, use case might be existing. So just just yeah, check. I found that. Yeah, I have checked it. Sir. Some of the cases are like this, but uh, I just was working on it, planning if it's executable to work ahead with this idea. So I don't know because there are many more things to this. So I need to change the perspective or the vision for this. Sure, sure, sure. And so make a business is... detailed business plan. Yeah, make a detailed yeah. business plan uh, before you start executing. Yeah, you had a question. Yes, sir. So is it necessary to have a like some people recommend that before starting your own venture, go ahead with franchising model. It will help you to understand what is it all about. OK, uh, franchisee model is uh, my favorite topic. I work with uh, Franchisee India with Gauro Maria and uh, I was uh, kind of uh, trying to pioneer the uh, idea of building franchisee model for, uh, you know, some of uh, the services like business consulting or legal which are not tangible like you know uh, you you see franchises of uh, places which are tangibly selling something you no know, where uh, services that i'm talking about is a business consulting service which is non tangible okay so first answer to you uh, and upfront and very blunt uh, franchising uh, is a way in which let me quickly explain that what is franchising many of you might know where you have a brand which is established, whole operations are established, all methodology and processes are established, uh, markets are established, uh, products are established, and pretty standard. And they want to basically go physically in other another geography. So set of their operations are going to get, to get replicated by virtue of becoming building those SOPs, standard operating processes, to be replicating them at places making somebody else to be an owner by paying franchise fee as well as taking himself for that uh, location and owning that business partially only for the areas in which that person has to just operate it the branding marketing menu structure r d everything is with the brand okay now if you want to understand this you join any franchisee if you want to start any enterprise, since franchisee is a very a less risk kind of a model in which you might invest 5, 10 lakhs rupees, depending upon what you choose uh, to take up, uh, kind of a small 200, uh, you know, size, 200 square foot size shop, and you're tr just trying to taking, I would say, as, as uh, pretty mundane as a DTDC kind of a, a franchise. I'm just giving, nobody will be interested from you, but. Uh, kind of a uh, thing. So you try that out because it is going to expose you for three lakhs rupees. You will know what to send, what not to send, how they are controlling. So that will be known. But uh, you know, another uh, kind of thing that I will highlight here is that uh, any franchisee to be run is not a part-time business. Nobody will tell you this, but uh, franchising is like running your own show. It's like running your own business. And if you are half-hearted, are it, then it is not successful. So uh, we have to draw that line. What is that I want to learn? How much that I'm trying to invest? Is that is something that will fetch me that understanding? Or you have somebody else who is actually pretty serious in that food business and takes that franchise, say McDonald's for that matter, cost, costing maybe a crore, two crores. Uh, and then, then you get associated, I understand. Don't, you don't really have to be in the waters to learn that swimming. In reality, uh -huh. you have to be in waters to learn swim. Yeah, so that's true. OK, thank you for sharing your opinions and views. Thank you. I think uh, we will uh, then uh, close it or you have any uh, last so, comment uh, anybody has to make? Yeah. So I have a question. Um, yeah. I'm Diksha. Kumar. So um, so I was I went through your LinkedIn. I was reading about your profile. Uh, just uh, just I want uh, to you to explain your ride of a journey is really a roller coaster. Means you have been so through in every industry, and uh, you have done so uh, so well in every industry. Like uh, you have a gist of every industry. I can say. So how how you did you have planned it or it just like. Uh, you wanted to do it 
or you how you managed everything means just just a small portion you can share about it so that because right now we are uh, ste uh, stepping ahead towards the cop and we do we are all blank about it ki with what will be the good hamare liye acha kya hoga and aapke pas mein wo cheez hai you have that just and power to tell us ki kaun si industry sabse achhi hogi and uh, which uh, we, we can invest on जो हम लोग थोड़ा अर्निंग करेंगे टू स्टार्ट आर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स तो यस सो फर्स्टली आई एम हंबल्ड ओके इट इज आई वुड से दैट दिस क्वेश्चन आई टिपिकली आस्क एंड यू इफ यू कैन गूगल व्हेन एवर यू गेट टाइम ऑन हट के एच ए टी के ई शिरीष कुलकर्णी यू विल गेट सेट्स ऑफ इंटरव्यूज दैट आई हैव कंडक्टेड अराउंड हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी प्लस ऑफ लीडरशिप्स and so i asked this question think then post yes so so yes. Uh, what i'm trying to say is uh, this question typically i ask so i'm actually getting that asked uh, here so i'm humble uh, okay the question, quick answer to that is uh, see typically uh, you have to uh, envisage what is inside you if you've seen me my earlier journey it is all entrepreneurship so uh, be so i do not come from a family of uh, business owners or a big backup of uh, you know huge capital right so i have to make sure that i have those skills and tenets uh, and i learn those out of the experiences that, that i have got so if at all it is a product development experience it services experience what is that i am learning out of it so i honed myself i would not call it 360 but whatever extent that i could uh, before and this tenet of always thinking about when i will give it back to indian industry fortunately unfortunately i, I would uh, had been inside me and i would say that's something that you need to have uh, it's my honest submission uh, let it be like you know you you and i i respect that if at all you think that you know you have to do, go back to your town and do something for that or uh, you have to actually be part of a program like nasa and you want to set up nasa in india and i'm highly influenced by dr marshall kar if you can listen to him so he see he saying that uh, the youngsters like you should think uh, that you know i will create google of india we will have our own google right i mean we already have our ceo sitting on that google so uh, that's the kind of uh, firing desire that you have uh, you should have any venture that i am taking uh, and i am helping out uh, as uh, uh, industry uh, it's coming out of that passion so for example there is a company with the name isos info systems where i am a strategic business advisor so i want to make it, make them if at all they think that uh, they can uh, uh, you know become one and a half uh, in the next year i'm saying at least two or five times bigger have that kind of a vision and then you become maybe 3 3 and half 4 which is a reality so uh, if you ask me uh, bluntly whether this was planned this was definitely in my mind uh, deep down if you see uh, uh, and and i'm trying to tell you uh, uh, something which is critical uh, since you brought me to this serious topic uh, i never uh, typically share this with uh, good uh, smiling students like you but it's a power of thought if you go to my linkedin you referred my linkedin page if you see what i have defined in stroot consultant under that as a road map that has come true so what i'm saying is that if you really think through what you want to do it will become reality it becomes reality so think through and if you want any help and guidance into that because you know we tend to lose our focus now if at all i was focused i took two months to really carve that out as what i want to do in business consulting what is that i have do i have so i could have started a it shop right i mean i could have started some it venture because 15 years i have spent in it but no what is the skill that you have what is that you want to do how do you want to give back what is the way that you will earn money what is that the work portion of it that you will call as csr what are the services that you will have how and why people should respect you when i take 150 as a number my current customer number is 192 i'm being very honest about it right so it's a journey uh, you have to have conviction passion is important conviction is important think through what you want to do and once committed i would say that is my strength and weakness 
एक बार बोला तो होना ही चाहिए there were many different industries you work with softwares you work with uh, many other domains also okay. so how you man- manage one means sometimes i have uh, i read that you work in a two places uh, so how so uh, in current scenario we don't used to able to handle two subjects simultaneously it's okay. being a little bit tough for us ki what have to study no, what no, should no. be the priority so, you have to have uh, your kid always uh, inside you always uh, you know so if you seen kids kid can watch kid can uh, talk ki kids a small you know kid so you, you have to make sure that uh, that state that you have in between uh, in within you uh, does not vanish forever because that is the maximum grasping that you can do your brain has got immense infinite power and there is no limitation to what you can take we ourselves limit ourselves say ki Do you know what you know? Uh, let me share this uh, secret openly here. Do you know that I have registered for a PhD program in manufacturing engineering just now? So that is the kind of inquisitiveness you need to have. Now I am talking about somebody who is maybe fifty-two years old. You should register for five PhDs right now. You have that capability. So that is the answer that you have. So you have that firing desire, and it will come to. it is absolutely you meet me after 3 month 3 years i want to complete the phd all course work in one year and keep submitting 3 years 18th of january 2025 i'm saying this you should see that doctor sirish kulkarni so absolutely sir yes all right so i think we have over time by 4 minutes thank you so much i hope that i was of any help and use uh, and uh, any time you have something that you want to uh, you know get guidance uh, i'll be happy to thank you so much uh, we'll thank close you, anybody sir. from admin is going to be there or uh, thank you so yes. much otherwise yes sir thank you so much sir for the wonderful and powerful session it was full of knowledge and liveliness i'm sure students would have learned a lot from your share experience and enjoy the session for from the core best uh, best wishes from the future ventures sir hope of meeting you again thank you so much sir and it's really uh, at this stage also it's really good to see your energy and uh, that's boost up us that yes uh, we can do it and thank you everyone wonderful thank you uh, sam sham sir and it is uh, wonderful to have this opportunity to talk to you know there is an energy in each one of them so that's what uh, keeps me uh, bubbling with further more energy so thanks for that uh, and i will keep on interacting if you have any thoughts about starting up an incubation center uh, we can think about it it's, it's a long call okay thank you sir thank you bye sir bye